In this Illustrator tutorial, I will show you how to give the chalk effect, the chalk writing effect, to objects and text in the workspace. You can also think of it as a pencil effect, depending on the color you will give. Let's go through the shapes first. We will do the same with texts. The name of the filter we will use to create. The scribble effect is scribble. That's what we are going to do. That's what we want to reveal. First of all, let's choose the object that we want to give the scribble effect. Then click Scribble Effects under Effects Stylize in the menu above. When I click on the Scribble option, you will see that the object on the scene is already given the Scribble effect. By changing the values here, you can transform the object into the shape you want. By making changes on these options, you can change the drawing style of the object. For example, we use the value here to change the direction. You can also use the options here to change the thickness of the line, its slope or the spacing between lines. When I set the width of the line to 1, it will look like it was drawn with a thin pencil as you can see. Or it will look like it was drawn with a thicker pencil when I do more. You can edit these changes according to yourself. We can change the ovality values of the lines here. I will exaggerate. We can also encounter circular lines like this. By lowering this value, we can obtain more realistic results. I leave it at 5% and there is the spacing value here. As I just mentioned, this is the distance between the lines. I'm doing 20 of this. When I do 20, you will see that the lines are more sparse. When I do 5 or 3, you will see that the lines are much more frequent. You can also achieve more varied results by changing the variation values. I will leave it like this. If you can't see the edits you made instantly, you should check the preview option in the lower left. By clicking the OK button, we can ensure that these adjustments are applied to the object. When you want to make changes on these edits we made, later you select the object again. If you don't see the properties panel, you can access it from the window menu. You will see a scribble in the appearance area, where you can see the effects you have added in the properties panel. You can change your edits again by clicking on it. You can rearrange the settings you have made, or you can delete this effect by clicking the trash icon. Now, we will write a text. We will also look at the effect of this effect on letters. But before I get to that, let me point out this. At the moment, this drawing we made looks like a drawing made with a black pen. You can change it. You can change the colors. For example, you can make it look like it was made with a red pencil. Likewise, if you apply a white color to a black background, it will make it look like chalk. I quickly change the background to black and also change the color of the lines to white. As you can see, it will look like an effect on the chalkboard. I'm removing this object now. Let's write a letter here. Since we continued on black last, let's continue with white on black. I'm selecting the object here. We don't have to convert it to any object. By choosing the apply scribble option under the effect, we can apply it here with the values we just applied. Or you can create an effect with a new values by selecting the scribble option. We can apply the previous values. Therefore, I choose the apply scribble option and the scribble effect is created with the values we have just created on the object. You can change these values again by clicking on it. This letter you see is still a letter even though the effect is currently applied. It is a letter that can be changed. For example, I can write the rest of the text by double clicking on it. And since we applied it to this text, the other characters that we wrote and edit the effect will also benefit from this effect. This effect will also be applied to other letters. Let's change the color of this again. When we shrink the text, we will have to make changes again, since the previous values will not fit this font size. Let's do exactly this black and turn on the scribble properties. For example, I set the thickness value to 1 and I can also reduce the spacing value a bit more. Let me do this one or two, yes, to look prettier. We can also slightly change the variation value. As you can see, we apply a similar effect to this. Yes, in this tutorial, I showed you how to give drawing effects, like chalk effect or pencil effect to both objects and text. That's all for this video. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.